centric relation has this huge definition that we will break down in this video and make it easy to remember. So first, it is a maxillomandibular relationship, which is independent of tooth contact. So it is independent of tooth contact. Then it talks about the position of the condyle in which the condyle articulate in the anterior superior position against the posterior slope of the articular eminence. So it is a maxillomandibular relationship independent of tooth contact in which the condyles articulate in the anterior superior position against the posterior slope of the articular eminences. Moving forward, it talks about the movement the mandible can make. Okay, so mandible is restricted to a purely rotary movement. Then it talks about the movement the patient can make. So from this unstrained physiologic maxillomandibular relationship, the patient can make vertical, lateral or protrusive movement. So the patient can make vertical, okay, lateral and protrusive movement. Then finally it talks about sixth, this one, that it is a clinically useful repeatable reference position. 